video. I am gonna build a campus board today. This campus board is designed so we will use the minimal amount of materials possible because materials cost a lot of money. Ooh, that It's been a really rainy day today. My goal is to make this as fast as I possibly can. So I'm gonna be using a circular saw and a drill. Oh, oh, there's that. That will be handy. Speed square, yes, speed square. Got that. This is my beautiful shop behind me. I've got some scrap pieces of old climbing walls around that I'm gonna be pulling in to build this, but it will all need to be cut just like if you were buying this new material from the box stores. In fact, it might actually be easier if it's brand new material. Let's get started. Okay, well, there's the lumber for my frame and my shop set up, so that's great. I love the USA Gold pencils, they're great. First step is we've got our two two by sixes. We're gonna stack them together, nice. Since this was used for another project, it's actually screwed together. I'm gonna have to unscrew it, but that's okay. I'll do that later. We want to cut in a 15 degree miter into the ends. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna put my speed square, the pivot point, right there at the edge. And I'm gonna look down at this bottom here and I'm gonna run it over to 15 degrees. Now you can use a chop saw for this, it'd be a lot faster, but speed square is cheaper. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. There is my first cut. So now we gotta flip this board around so we can cut the other side. We're gonna mark the other side so that miter is running parallel to the other miter. So this is parallel, this is not parallel. Parallel, not parallel, okay? So make sure that your miters, when you cut this, are both running the same way. Right up here flush. That is 15 degrees. I'm gonna hold it right on there. I've got my pivot point, my 15 degrees. You can mark that out. That's my 15 degree cut line. Because I had my board stacked perfectly together, when I moved my top board, my second board is already marked for the cut and I don't have to remark that. So let's cut this board and we'll get back to it. Now these are the feet, and honestly I feel like I might be kicking myself in the pants because yeah, I don't know if this is going to be big enough, but I'm going to try, and if I fail that means that you are saved to fail because you learned from my experience. But if it's a success that I saved you at the cost of a 2 by 6 Okay, now I'm just gonna nip off this sharp point here. I'm gonna come back about a half inch, about right there. Completely unnecessary, but I have kids and I don't like to have sharp points on things. Now for the same reason I just mentioned, I don't like to have sharp points on things, I'm gonna round this over as well. Well, that didn't take that long. It's got this nice little radius right here. Normally, I don't like to use two by fours, but you know, whoo, that. And a two by four will actually work really good in this application because of the distance and because of what we're using it for. Hey, Daddy. hey. 
I have been requested to help out with the swing. <laughs> the swing is made out of an old climbing rope, so it's stretchy. The others is a plank is when I was young, we called it team tag, but uh, because they grew up during the uh, COVID era, they don't call it freeze tag or team tag, they call it infection. So when you're touched by the person that's it, you are now infected and you have to get everybody else. Hi. Are we recording? First cut, nothing fancy. The second cut is a different story. It's a 55.6 degree miter that I have on it. But because I drew this out beforehand and it's in my build plans, I know exactly what I need to come over from this corner on this corner to get that cut. Same thing on the other end, and I'll make these two cuts. Beautiful. My next piece is already marked. You see those cut lines? The frame is now completely cut out behind me and it took me about 45 minutes with a little sidetrack helping the girls. Now it's time to uncover the plywood. I have some extra plywood on this trailer behind me that has been there for a while that I've been packing around because plywood's expensive, especially when it comes to climbing wall plywood. What are you doing? <laughs> So we're going to get that plywood out and use that. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Dad, want me to help? Yeah. Spoilers are starting to get heavy. Need to exercise more. Actually, I need that. Can you put that in my garage? Yeah. Thanks. We're on to the plywood, trying to maximize the ability to use one piece. Here, so I'm going to take my measurement. Because I don't have a T-square, I'm going to measure here, and then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to measure on this edge. Keith, you want to line me up? Free? Yes, it is. Okay. Now this piece is sort of done. You want to catch this side? Yeah, here we go. Are you going to use that board? Yes, we are. Next page. Right on the money. Take your time with this first one. Get it right. I've got my first one traced on here. I'm going to start cutting that out. You want to be really careful to cut as you're cutting it out so you don't cut into your other piece. It's important that we can lay this guy right over here to get two of these cut out. So in the future, I would recommend going ahead and drawing this diagonal line that goes up this way all the way through and cut that all the way through. But because I didn't do it this time, because it's the very first time and I'm learning for the first time and you're learning through me making mistakes, this is a mistake. And I'm gonna fix it with a pole saw. Let me stand where you're standing, please. Not too bad. There's one more cut I still gotta make. So the first one is completely cut out now. Flip this over. Oops. Lines up pretty well. Actually, that lines up like really well. Okay, we got this lined up perfectly now. If you did it right, this edge should line up and this edge and this edge should line up. This, here, and there. There's our next piece that we gotta cut out. The power. Okay. 
skin, I would recommend cutting this the first time all the way through. It'll make it a lot easier. We're into this about an hour and 15 minutes. That's with interruptions and video recording. So I think that you could probably do this in less than an hour, uh, maybe even 45 minutes of work time up to here. We would be ready to do the construction part of it. However, I want to put T-nuts on this board to make it just a little bit better. So we're gonna do the extra work and put those on. Putting in T-nuts takes a lot of time. Something I wanna show you guys, very few scraps. So we're really maximizing the material that we're using here. The sun is starting to go down and the clouds are coming back. Even with the magic of editing the video, this is gonna be really boring. So uh, we're just gonna finish this up. The canvas board is now complete and it works amazing. This one I made out of scrap material. You can make it look really nice if it was all new material and you could put some nice finishes on it. I could put some nice finishes on this one too, but I wanted to get it up and getting it used because that's why I was building it. I wanted to have something that I could pull on here at the house. And my kids are really enjoying it as well. <laughs> was that fun? <laughs> now this campus board can easily be turned into a regular climbing wall as well being five feet wide, I think that it would probably be okay. Probably gonna do that on this wall eventually. And all you have to do is just add a panel on the bottom part of the wall. And there you go. And it'll actually make it a little bit more stiff so it doesn't have so much movement side to side. I'd recommend getting some uh, thin rubber feet to stick on the bottom of this. I've got some wedges underneath the back of the frame here to just kind of put that pressure on more of a point so it's not sliding around on the floor so much. If I had a carpeted floor, I would never notice it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time right here on Climber Dad.